Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for February 14th through the 20th of 2021. I hope everyone is doing well. I do want to take a second to remind you that this is a general reading and therefore it may not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate, please check your other signs and placements and see if those readings resonate a little bit better. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, simply email me. The directions are in the box beneath this video. I'll be happy to get that set up for you. Libra, remember that the um, in a general reading, the energies are rather fluid, so timelines can vary, and also roles can reverse. Um, if the um, reading is not for you, please do not try to make yourself fit into it. Um, take what resonates for you and leave the rest for someone else, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Libra, I'm going to pull your energy. We'll pull the energy of the person you are connected to, even if you're not in communication with them. And then we'll pull the energy of the connection itself. And then we'll get the income for the end of the week. Um, at the end, please have some questions in mind because we're going to go ahead and pull some of the angel answers as well, just to kind of sum it up. All right. So think of some questions that you might have in your mind with regard to your person. All right, so let's get started, Libra. So, Spirit, can I have the energy of Libra? Libra for the third week of February, please. 21. Wow. Libra. Libra. All right, so Libra, you have the devil in reverse. You have the Hierophant. And coming out together, you have the King of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So it looks to me like you have some kind of commitment on your mind here with the Hierophant. Now, this is a love reading, so generally the Hierophant is going to be concerning itself with commitment. However, it could also be some type of institution such as church. It could even be a workplace. Um, but whatever it is, is um, something that is very heavily on your mind because it is in the present position. Um, I do feel like you have worked very hard in the very recent past to release some kind of negativity, something that is very toxic in your life. It may be um, patterns of yours. It may be relationships that are toxic. But you've worked very hard to release those patterns. It looks like you're doing a good job with that. So I see a lot of work on yourself. I see that you are focusing upon, you know, trying to live healthier um, as far as, you know, releasing things that are not serving you. Um, now, what I'm also seeing here is that there is something with regard to a new beginning. Um, the reason I say that this Hierophant could actually be with regard to work is because we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, and it's a that's a new beginning. Now, it is in the reverse here, so it has not happened yet. But sometimes this Ace of Pentacles can refer to either a new job. It can also refer to an, a sudden influx of money. Um, but, it, you know, being Pentacles, it does refer to finances, but it can also refer to stability. So for some of you, this is um, you kind of focusing upon um, some kind of a work condition, focusing upon your money and trying to get yourself into a good financial position and you're willing to take action on that for others you may be focused upon a commitment a relationship and you are also and it's the relationship has not happened yet it's a commitment that you're desiring to take um, a desiring to move into it hasn't happened yet but you would like a, a start a a solid commitment with this person and again willing to take action towards that um and and you're very passionate about it too i will say that as well um so i see a lot of self-growth here and you know a desire to really move into something that is new and you want it to be good for you you want it to be stable whether that be work or whether it be a relationship and for some of you it may even be both let's look at the energy of the person you're connecting with libra who is Libra connecting with, Spirit? There it is. OK, 
Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. You may be dealing with a water sign. Um, you don't have to be. It could be someone with water in their chart, or it may just be somebody who has these um, qualities. If it is a water sign, that would be uh, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, we also have the Nine of Wands in the reverse and the Three of Cups. Okay, so this is somebody, Libra, who I feel like um, is kind of giving up on the connection here with this Nine of Wands in reverse. Um, their heart is kind of closed, and it's their heart is closed because of something that has happened between the two of you in the past. They're kind of giving up on it, and there's an indication here that they feel as if there has been a involvement with a third party here, um, either for them or from you. Um, we'll clarify to see, but there is a feeling here that this person is, they're a bit overwhelmed and they're not really invested in the connection at this point related to a third party. Uh, can I see the energy of the connection, please? King of Swords. Okay, well, that's definite air sign energy. Um, generally, that's a, a, the sign of Gemini, but, um, you know, coming out in your reading in this position, um, I would have to say that you're kind of being very dominant in the connection right now, um, unless you're dealing with another air sign, but it does feel to me as if this is you showing up very strongly in the connection, um, but I feel as if the connection is somewhat distant. There's a there's a feeling of the connection almost being a little bit less heartfelt and more intellectual at this point. Um, and almost as if both sides are kind of like at the point where they're ready to cut, you know, each other out. There's a coldness, I guess, is what I'm saying here. What is directly affecting this connection? Yeah, the three of pentacles in the reverse. So there's that third party again. Um, so what's directly affecting this is the inability to work together. And with the Three of Pentacles, there's a feeling here as if a contract has been broken, again, in relation to a third party. Um, a lot of threes here. Um, I, I feel as if the foundation was cracked. I, I hear cracked. The foundation is cracked. And so, you know, that's what's directly affecting the connection. All right, um, Spirit, what is the outcome for the end of the week? Outcome for the end of the week between Libra and their person. Okay, well, that's a lot of cards. I don't usually take that many, but it feels right, so we're going to go ahead and do this. Um... Okay, so in your outcome, Libra, you have the world, the Knight of Wands, and we have the Two of Cups in the reverse. So I do feel like there's going to be communication at the by the end of the week. Now, the communication um, is going to be back and forth. It's not going to be just on one side. And for you, you're looking at communicating that you're ending a cycle. Um, there's something new that you do want to begin. We see that here with this Ace of Pentacles. You're waiting to begin something. Um, and I feel as if that, I feel as if that's um, different from this connection. I feel as if what's ending is this connection. Because, you know, this is an ending. The world is all about endings of one cycle and beginnings of a new cycle. We see that, you know, with the devil here, there there's an ending of something that you felt was toxic. So... I'm wondering here, Libra, if you felt like this connection had become toxic um, and that you are now, you know, putting an end to that, that connection in order to move into something else. Um, and that would be this Ace of Pentacles that's in reverse that you want to take action towards. So you're going to be communicating about endings and new beginnings. Your person is also wanting to communicate with you. Um, and they have the Two of Cups in the reverse. So the Two of Cups in reverse indicates either an argument or an ending or both. So I do feel like this person is not going to be in the best, um, they're not going to be in the best of um, moods about this discussion. 
It could be an argument, um, and if so, it will be a heated argument. Be aware of that. Um, but I do feel like there is going to be communication about the ending of this connection because neither of you feel like it's working out or that you're able to work with each other. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the chariot. So this tells me that the underlying energy here is that both parties, because this is a this is shared energy, um, both parties are wanting to move forward and move forward in a balanced and successful manner in their lives. So, all right. So let's go ahead and start to clarify. Why is the devil in reverse for Libra? Why is the devil in reverse for Libra, please? So we have the Page of Swords in the reverse, and we have the World in reverse. Now this is this is energy that um, is actually duplicating itself here. So you have this in your outcome, but it's in the upright. So Libra, that's very strong energy. So this is something that you have not been talking to this person about. Page of Swords in the reverse is something that's being withheld, information that's being withheld. And so... You know, there's the toxicity. The toxicity is actually on your part in that you're not discussing this with the person that you are currently with. You're not you're not revealing to them. You're not discussing with this person that you actually would like to end this relationship because you have something that you would want to move towards. And so that's the toxicity. And I do think that you have realized this and you're moving forward from that you know, beginning to communicate by the end of the week. Um, why is the Hierophant here? Why is the Hierophant here? You have to realize, Libra, that not all um, connections are meant to last. Um, sometimes we learn our lessons in a connection or, you know, they're just, they're lessons not, not for life. And so I see that you're having a difficult time moving from this. All right, so with this Hierophant, this is a connection that you're trying to move towards, either a connection or for some of you, like I said, it could be a job. But whatever this is, this Hierophant, whatever it is that you're looking towards, you it's it, you really want this. It's, it's one of your biggest hopes um, with the Star card. You, you have really thought about this a lot. You have the Four of Swords in the reverse. So you actually pulled back. You gave this a lot of thought. And, you know, you really, you really gave this a lot of thought. And you really want this. This is one of your biggest hopes. You are very hopeful about it. You're very committed towards moving towards it. Now, like I said, for some of you, this has to do with work or a job. But for others of you, this is a, a relationship. And... So I feel as if perhaps you are the one who may have met somebody, Libra. Um, let's see, why, why is, can I have three for the bottom energy, please? One more, please. One more. And we got two, so let's see what we have. All right, so we have the Fool in Reverse. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Magician, and we have the King of Pentacles. Okay, so, yeah, it's a new beginning here. It's a brand new beginning. You feel as if you have not been able to move towards this, um, or maybe you've even held yourself back from moving towards it. You've avoided moving towards this new beginning, Um and I do feel as if you, you may even feel as if you have, um, you have done wrong in, in this new beginning. You may have a sense of guilt about this, but I do feel as if, you know, your intention, you, there's almost a feel of, uh, of sneaking away, of trying to, you know, move towards this new beginning and sneak away from the connection you're in. Um, but you're definitely manifesting this new connection. And you feel as if the new connection is going to be very prosperous. You feel as if it's going to be stable and prosperous. So, you know, I, I see your energy really shifting away from the connection here and moving more and more towards the connection that you're manifesting here. Whereas in the past, I think you kind of 
you were able to hold it off. You you kind of kept it at bay. You avoided the, the other connection. So uh, you are the one, Libra, that your person is saying that you are the one who has a third party. Now, keep in mind, guys, that the roles can reverse. Um, so if, that's, if the roles are reversed for you, place yourself in the story where you belong. But um, let's look at the person um, that Libra is dealing with. We have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Why is the Queen of Cups in the reverse? Yeah, so we have the Ace of Cups in the reverse, and we have the Seven of Rods. So this person feels as if the love has drained out of this connection. They've pulled their heart back. Um, you know, they feel as if the love has ended here, and they're really standing their ground with regard to this connection. Um, they feel as if they've had to apply some very strong boundaries here. Why is the Nine of Wands in reverse? We have the Knight of Pentacles, and we have the Two of Swords. So I feel like um, the person you're dealing with, Libra, they there's a decision that they're trying to make. I feel like they have taken quite some time to make this decision, or they're they are taking some time, um, and it's it's a uh, it's a decision that they're uh, trying to avoid the emotion. And they're actually pretty successful at doing that because they've kind of put their emotions aside here. Um, they're protecting their heart, and I, I can understand that. Um, the decision that they're making has to do with, you know, this the stability of this connection and actually whether or not to, to try to bring stability back into the connection. I feel as if they're deciding if they're going to try to bring stability back in or if they're going to give up on the connection, and so they're kind of um, they're kind of avoiding this decision somewhat. They're putting it off, but they know that ultimately they're going to have to make a decision. Why is the Three of Cups here? Queen of Cups. Now here we have the Queen of Cups in the upright. Here it's in the reverse. Yeah, so the Queen of Cups is letting go. Um, four of Coins in the reverse. Queen of Cups which is your person, um, is letting go of the connection because of a third party. Because of a third party, yeah. And so they, they're making that decision. So if they haven't made this decision yet, um, they will in the very near future make this decision. And Libra, um, for you, you have, you if you haven't already decided to put action towards this new connection, Again, in the very near future, you will. You've avoided this connection in the past. Um, you didn't want to take that leap of faith towards this new beginning. But I think that you're manifesting it. And it you're manifesting, you know, a, a strong, solid connection here. Um, and I feel as if you are, in the near future, going to act on that as well. So, why is the King of Swords here in this connection? So we have the Page of Wands and we have the Ten of Cups. So there is going to be communication and it's going to be about um, the connection. It's going to be about, you know, whether or not there's emotional fulfillment in the connection. Um, for some of you, this connection is affected by children. And um, I think that that is going to play a big part of this. So that's going to be discussed as well. Um, but there is going to be communication. Libra, I feel as if you're the one who may initiate that as well. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Okay, so we have the Five of Cups in the reverse and the Ace of Wands. Okay, so, you know, I feel... What's directly affecting the connection, we we already established was that the there is a crack in the base of the um, the foundation of this connection, um, and it has the reason there's a, a crack is because of a third party. We're seeing that in two different places, and primarily um, 
and, and also in your energy too, it, for those of you that, um, you know, this isn't a work situation, but, and that's most of you. Um, and I don't feel as if you, you have any remorse for that. I feel as if you are actually optimistic. You're wanting a new start. And I feel, Libra, as if you're very passionate about this person. Um, I think that the person that you connected with, there is a strong physical um, connection here with this person. There's a lot of passion. And so I do think that, you know, you're not feeling... Um, you're not feeling remorseful about this, and that's also affecting the connection here as well. Um, can I get three for the outcome? Okay. Okay, so we have the five of pentacles in the reverse. We have the seven of coins in the reverse. And we have the devil in the reverse. Okay, so like I said, by the end of the week, there will be some kind of communication about this. I feel as if um, with this world card, you're going to be discussing that, um, that the connection, that you're putting an end to cycles and you want to begin a new cycle. For a lot of you, I do think that some of you are going to be telling this person that you're currently with that you're going to end the third party and you want to re reconcile with them. For others, you're going to be telling this person, because um, I feel as if this person, for some of you, knows that they're of this third party and perhaps you stopped seeing the third party and you're going to let them know that, you're, that it's back on, that you're, you're seeing the third party again that you have reconciled with that third party and you're ending this connection. Um, so it depends on where you are in this connection. So both of you are feeling as if the investment in this connection really didn't pan out to be what you thought it would, that you're both viewing it as not living up to what you thought it would. You, you both thought it was going to be the Ten of Cups, it was gonna be totally emotionally fulfilling, and neither of you at, at this point feel that it is. Um, so for most of you, I feel as if you, you, you're going to be relating to your person that you're currently involved with, that you're reconciling with this third party and ending this connection. For um, the person that you're connected with here, Libra, I think that they feel that this relationship has become toxic as well. And because they also have the devil in reverse, just as you do, I think they're recognizing that this is not a good situation. This is not a healthy situation um, for them or for you. And I think that they want to, to end that, that um, toxicity. They want to end the, you know, the painful situation. And so I feel as if they're, they're going to relate to you that this hasn't lived up to their expectations either and that they want to end the connection. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Eight of Coins. So I do think that um, coming out, that is clarifying the Chariot. I think that there is going to be work put into moving forward for both parties. I don't see this as um, being a a split that is going to be um, hostile. I do think that the person that you are um, in connection with is not gonna be happy about this discussion, but I also don't see this as being a terribly hostile connection for most of you. Now, for some of you, it may be. So, all right, I hope you guys have gotten the question in your mind. We're gonna pull a few of the angel answers cards and just see what comes out. All right. Okay, so yeah, so it says um, get more information. So there's an indication, especially for the um, the, the person that uh, Libra is involved with, the cross watcher, is saying to get more information. Um, for Libra, it says big happy changes. So Libra, you have some big happy changes coming. And then for the connection, it says that there is a peaceful resolution, which is what I just said. 
for most of you, I don't see this as being a very hostile, um, you know, separation here. It seems as if this is going to be rather peaceful and both of you agreeing, you know, to a peaceful resolution of, of the situation. So, all right, Libra, I do hope this has been helpful to you. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Um, if you would, give me a big thumbs up and also drop me a comment. I do read all of your comments. And so until I see you next week, namaste.